Hello friends, welcome to Bright Tag Design. In today's video, we're going to learn how to create a cover design like this one using CorelDRAW. So in this tutorial, I'll guide you step by step through the entire process. Let's get started. First of all, go to your document settings and select the A4 page size. Then, double click on the rectangle tool. This will automatically create a rectangle that fits the full page. Next, select the freehand tool and draw a line starting from this node up to this point. After that, choose the shape tool, select both of these nodes together, and convert them to curves. Now, select this node and slightly move its arrow upward to create a smooth curve. Do the same with the other node, but move its arrow slightly downward. Once that's done, Again, take the freehand tool and draw another line in this area. Then, with the help of the shape tool, adjust the line a bit more until it looks perfect. After that, open the shadow tool menu and choose the extrude tool. Now, apply a little extrude effect here to give it some depth. In the extrude type section, select this specific option, and then bring it a little closer like this. Next, right-click on it and choose Break Apart. Delete the original line that you drew earlier. Now, go to the Crop tool, and under it, select Virtual Segment Delete tool, and erase a few unnecessary lines from this area. Using the Freehand tool again, draw a few lines here to refine the shape. Once done, select all the elements together and group them. Then, with the help of the Smart Fill tool, add some color fills in these areas. Right-click on this extra shape and delete it. Now, select these two color-filled shapes and weld them together. Next, right-click on an empty space and click on Import. From here, import an image or picture of your choice. After importing, select the freehand tool again and draw a line around this section. Use the Smart Fill tool to fill color into it. Then delete the line you just drew. Now, select both of these color shapes and weld them again. Take your imported picture and, while holding the right mouse button, drag it onto this area. Then, use Power Clip to place the image inside. Click on Edit and slightly adjust the position of your picture until it fits nicely. Once satisfied, make a copy of the picture and then click on Finish. Paste the copied picture over here. Now press Shift plus Page down to send it behind the design. Go to the Transparency tool and in the Mode options, change it from Normal to Multiply. Make another copy of this picture and right-click to Power Clip it into this other area. After placing it, paste the picture and again press Shift plus Page Down. Right-click once more and apply Power Clip. Now, select this color shape and choose the Interactive Fill tool. Apply a gradient fill color here for a nice transition. Drag this gradient color and click on Copy Fill to apply it to the other shapes as well. Adjust the gradient slightly until it looks balanced. Add a bit of gray color to one of the areas to enhance the contrast. Then, select this color again and give it a white outline. Select everything together and group it. Now, we'll add some text, so I'll type and place it right here. After adding the text, Ungroup everything so you can make separate adjustments if needed. Change the page background color to white for a clean look. Select all the objects once again and group them back. Now, open the shadow tool and add a soft shadow effect beneath the design for a more realistic look. And that's it, your design is ready. For more interesting videos like this, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and stay connected with Bright Tag Design. Thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.